man's mouth, isn't it? Oh, they don't notice me, sir. You're going to let me ride with you tomorrow night, aren't you? No, I'm afraid not. It's too risky. I don't see why. I said no, and you'll obey orders. Your task is to keep your eyes on General Pugh. Yeah, what about Ramsley, sir? He's under orders for tomorrow's run. Ramsley's one of my men and has to be protected. I'm going to Bonington this afternoon, see what frame of mind he's in. Afternoon, E. Vicar. Afternoon, George. Brought some things for your grandmother. Oh, I'll tell you here, sir. Right. Granny, the Vicar's here to see you. Is uh, your father about, George? He's round the back, sir. I'll tell him you're here. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Ransley. Nice to see you getting about again. Thank you, Vicar. I've, uh, I've brought something to cheer you up. Oh, Vicar, you shouldn't. And to come all this way. Well, I have a big parish, Mrs. Ransley. Not as big as your heart, Vicar. You're too kind. Well, how are you? Joe and the boys looking after you properly? Joe? My stepson looks after himself, sir. He don't care for nobody else. Oh, that can't be true. Whatever comforts we have here, sir, me and the boys is no thanks to him. It's because of the... You won't say I told you. I'm not supposed to tell nobody. I'm as secret as the grave, Mrs. Ransley. You know that. It's because of the scarecrow and his smugglers that we ain't in debt no more. And Joe's one of them. I know it. Surely not. That villain? He's no villain, sir. To us poor folk. Believe me, sir, if it weren't for him, there's many hereabouts would starve. Joe would betray the scarecrow himself. I heard him today telling the boys, making them agree to what he's going to do. They're afraid of him, sir, and I'm... Well, Vicar, you wanted to see me? Uh, just to say good day to you, Ransley, and I, I brought these few things for your mother. Stepmother. Time for your rest. Upstairs. Yes, Joe. Yes, Joe, yes. I'm going. I'm going. Can I get you a glass of brandy before you go, Vicar? I thank you. Yes, you may indeed. Oh, Vicar, I want to... Take care of yourself, Mrs. Ransley. Thank you, sir. I'll call again. God bless you, sir. And you, Mrs. Ransley. Oh. Oh, very generous with the brandy, my friend, at the price it is today. Ah. It's a bigger price than you think. I regret to say that a great deal of it in this parish has been smuggled in by some misguided men under the leadership of this, uh, this scarecrow fellow. I don't know about that. Scarecrow, scarecrow. Why don't nobody talk about somebody else? I'm surprised that among all the men who work for him, none has betrayed him yet. Ah, because many of them are scared of him. That's why. Otherwise, they would betray him. I don't know. I'll let him stay and find out. There's many men don't want to spend the rest of their lives in this park. Some have no choice. But there's ways and means of getting away. Don't you forget that. I've got plans. Well, never mind. Thank you for calling, Vicar. Good health. Well, I must get on my rounds. I've a busy afternoon ahead of me. Oh, aye. Um, good day to you, Ransley. Good day to you. And goodbye. I got another horse and cart, Dad. Good. Leave it in the barn, Jim. You, George, load everything we can take on our cart and you help him. Take it up to the old host house at Noel Hill. I'll meet you there. Dad, what are you planning? 
I'll tell you when we get to the host house. Go on, hurry. George, get on with it. Now, when we get the Bonnington share of the contraband tomorrow night, we'll bring it back here. And then we'll stow our stuff on top of it. And then clear out. Clear out? Yeah, clear out. I got it. Away from here. And the Scarecrow, General Pugh, the lot. We'll sell the brandy bit by bit on the way to London. Then we can go where we want. But the Scarecrow will find out. Ah, we'll be well on our way before he does. And with money in our pockets. Dad, you can't do this. Shut up. I tell you, I've got to. Or else Pew will have me in jail. Come on, get on with it. What are you going to do now, sir? Well, make an example of Ransley that will teach the others a lesson they won't forget in a hurry. Mutiny among the Scarecrow's men is a worse danger than the soldiers are. Will you have to postpone tomorrow's run, then? Oh, no, that cargo from France is too valuable for that. Yes, but if Ransley thieves part of it, he'll make the Scarecrow look a fool to all the rest. Uh, the government has sent an army to protect us. The army shall protect us. That's where you come in, John. Um... General, there's, uh, there's something here I think could do. Uh... Why are you scowling? I'm sorry, Kate. I was thinking about the General. He dislikes me and he thinks I'm a fool. But he thinks everybody's a fool except himself. Why let it bother you? I think you're the nicest man I ever met. Oh, Kate, if only I had a chance to do something, to make him sit up and take notice. I have something to tell you, sir. Where have you been? He's always disappearing for hours on end. Please, quiet. I was down at the harbor working on my boat, and I heard some men talking about a smuggling run this week. Oh, where and when? Tomorrow night. They didn't say where the cargo would be landed, only where they'd be taking their part of it. It's a cargo of brandy. And where are they taking it? To Noel Hill Oast House, they said. I could show you the place on a map. Enough cover there for you to hide your soldiers and catch the Scarecrow's men red-handed. The Scarecrow? These were his men? From the way they spoke of him. I don't know who they were. I've, I've never seen them before. Why, this is wonderful. Will you report it to the General? No. And don't you either. I'll take care of this myself. All right. But you won't let anybody know that I told you what I heard, sir. The Scarecrow's men had killed me. I'll draw you a map and take it to your room. Hmm. It's true, Philip. They would kill him. They're desperate men. Kate, this is the chance I've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm sorry. Help, I'm loaded. Come on, hurry, lads. Steady. For your captain. Throw the kegs out first. Skinnell, Davis, this is the Romney village fair. Take the marsh road eastward. Hurry. Right load. Sam, to Hathaway's. This load is for Dimchurch, sir. Ransley, your load is for the people of Bonnington. Here we go, lads. George, hurry up. 
Now, Lord Arke, come on, we no time to waste. What are you going to do about Granny, Dad? Nothing. Leave her. She'll be in the way. Yeah, but Dad... Come on, get on with it. Oh, the King's name. Run for it, lads. Hold, Ramsley. against these wretched men. They were caught red-handed, with 20 kegs of contraband spirit in their possession, defrauding His Majesty's revenue. They have no defense. I demand that an example should be made of them, as a warning to all men and to their infamous leader. I demand that they suffer the extreme penalty of the law. Unless, unless, as I am instructed by General Pugh, they here and now confide the name of their leader called the Scarecrow, in which case the Crown will not press for their death by hanging. I don't know who the Scarecrow is. I tell you, I don't know. Nobody knows. But you've seen him, spoken to him. Only to get orders when he called a meeting. I I haven't... Where does he hold his meetings? Tell me that. Different places. Different every time. On the beach. On the marsh. In somebody's barn. Why protect him now? He betrayed you. Who is the man, Ransley? I don't know, sir. Or else I'd tell the court. I don't want to swing for the likes of him. Silence. Silence in court. That concludes the case for the prosecution, Your Worship. Joseph Ransley. George Ransley, James Ransley. The court is left with no alternative. But to... by your leave, Your Worship, I, I just returned home and I found this note. Um, it's a threat, sir. And I, I do not care for threats. What's it? Hmm? If the Reverend Dr. Sin speaks for the prisoners on trial, he will answer to the scarecrow with his own life? Oh. Who would want to threaten you, Parson? Were you about to speak for these ruffians in the dock? How do you know that? Oh, well, General, words get spread, I suppose. I had mentioned to my Sexton Mips uh, a point of law that had occurred to me regarding this case, and uh, Mips is not averse to an audience at the inn, where many people spend their evenings. <laughs> <laughs> what point of law, Vicar? Well, one which, if you will allow me, would certainly save these unhappy prisoners from punishment, uh, were it proved true. I object to this interruption, Your Worship. The Crown demands... If you please, Mr. Frank. What is this point of law that occurred to you, Vicar? Well, well sir, uh, would this arch smuggler, knowing that the prisoners were false to him, as undoubtedly he did, would he waste 20 kegs of expensive spirit to bait his trap? I, I, I wondered if the contents of the kegs had been examined. I, if indeed they contain contraband, then of course the prisoners must stand condemned. But uh, should they not be examined first? Has counsel for the Crown any objection to this? No. No, of course not. Beadle. Go and open the cage. Uh, 
General, I trust I can rely on the protection of your troops for coming forward after this threat to my safety. Of course, of course. Worship, the kegs are filled with seawater. Every one we've tried. Seawater? Sea water? There is no law in England that can hang a man or even imprison him for carrying kegs of water. <laughs> <laughs> the case is dismissed. The prisoners Ransley can go free. You incompetent. I thought you were a fool, and now I know you are. You bungled this whole business. Yes, General. Trying to take the law into your own hands. Get out of my sight. Report back to Dover Castle. Thank you, Victor. Thank you for what you've done. You've escaped the law, Ransley, but your scarecrow leader won't let you escape him, nor any of his men who know you for a traitor if you stay in this district. You'd best get away as far as you can. You got off this hook, but you're still on mine, Ransley. You've till tonight, that's all. Keep close watch on Ransley. Off you go. And you can watch Mr. Frank, the prosecutor. Mrs. Waggett, please. This case you came down for must have been a great disappointment to you, sir. And who might you be? Me, sir? Uh, Mr. Mipps, sir. You're sexton and verger, carpenter and undertaker. And what is more, right-hand man in matters spiritual and otherwise to the vicar, Dr. Sin. Indeed. You seem to mind every kind of business, except your own. Oh, that's very good, sir. <laughs> very good. If you want to know anything about anyone in these parts, I'm the man to come to. And being a servant of the church, the soul of discretion, and on the side of the law. Hmm. Well, I suppose you'll be on your way back to London tomorrow, now that your business here is over. Perhaps it isn't, Mr. Mipps. Perhaps it isn't. Oh, allow me, sir. It's an honor for me. Thank you. You're very good health, sir. Yes, I felt for you in the court today. Did you? Hmm. Well, and you're very good health, too. You say you're on the side of the law, Sexton. Well, naturally I am, sir. The law was thwarted today. You'll realize that. Ah, oh, that Ransley's a villain, sir. A villain that is a wicked miscarriage of justice. How far away does this Ransley live? Oh, about an hour's ride on a good horse, sir. Can you get me a good horse without all the world knowing tonight? Tonight, sir? Why tonight? Can you get me a good horse, Sexton? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I can, I can get that for you, sir. But, um, mum's the word, eh? I'll meet you at the Fork in the Sea Road in half an hour. I'll have the horse for you there, right? Oh, 
Oh, well. Time for home and bed. Good night, Mrs. Waggett. Good night, sir. Good night, boys. Good night, Good night. It's you, eh? What do you want with me? To talk to you. The prosecutor's just gone in. I know, I followed him here. Are all the Ranslers there? No, only him. The boys have run away and the old lady's gone. How can we hear what's going on? Well, this door leads to the kitchen. I'm getting out of here. Run away? Where are you going to run? This scarecrow fellow or his followers will stop you going. Unless you stop them first. Your life isn't worth that. Unless I help you. Which I won't do. Without you help me. You can't touch me now. You can't try me twice for the same offence. You were acquitted by a trick. You didn't know there was water in those kegs. The scarecrow knew it, Ransley. And if he knew that, he knows you plan to run. I've got to run. Not only from him and the others. General Pugh's after me, too. General Pugh? Put me in jail. Unless I turn King's evidence. You tell me what I want to know. And I'll offer you something much better than that. What do you mean? The reward for your leader, Ransley. Give me the names of the rest of your gang so that I can bring them to trial. Ah, and get me throat cut for certain. You'll get it cut if you stay. And if you run. Oh, leave me alone, can't you? Listen to me. The Department of Revenue will protect you if you talk. I can't talk! They won't even know it was you. And even if they did, you'll be a hundred miles away with enough money to start another life. They'll kill me for sure. They won't know. You won't even have to appear in court. Your written statement's all I need, and the signal system, and the hiding places for your loot. That'll do you no good. I don't know who the scarecrow is. He'll come forward when we've hanged a few of his men, or someone will give him up. You leave that to me. Give me some names, Ransley. You owe him nothing, and you can buy your freedom. You, the Scarecrow, General Pugh, You're driving me out of my head. Talk, and there'll be 999 more like this. The reward, you fool. But keep out of General Pugh's way. Bring your list of names to me. Twenty will do. I'll meet you this time tomorrow night at the castle ruins, and you can have the rest. Then you will be safe. Safe from General Pugh because you'll have done your duty. And safe from all the rest as well. Fail me, and you are finished. Nobody will know? Nobody.
Well, Mr. Prosecutor, what do you want at this hour? I thought you left on the London mail coach. I'll leave when my business here is finished. You called me incompetent after today's fiasco. I've come to tell you that I'll make you eat those words. You have, have you? And how will you make me do that? By bringing to justice enough of the smugglers here to smash the Scarecrow gang. And probably catch him too. Just like that, eh? Well, well, well. And when will this haul take place, may I ask? This time tomorrow night. Oh. I want to make sure you'll be here to help me. Help you? How? Supply me with an armed escort when I go to round up these criminals. I don't imagine they'll come along without a struggle, General. What have you found out, lawyer? Have a squadron of your troops ready, standing by, at the old monastery, tomorrow night at this hour. And I'll tell you then. I'll show you, General. Tomorrow night at this hour, eh? Very well, I'll ride with the troops myself. Thank you. Good night to you, General. Mr. Fred! I hope this time you've not bitten off more than you can chew. It's a good thing there are more brains in my profession than the evidence would seem to show there are in yours. Good night again. <laughs> Ransley will sell us all, you can be sure of that. Selling the freedom, even the lives of 20 of his fellow marshmen won't bother him. We should stop him now. Get rid of him, sir. There'll be plenty willing to do it. Them as he's planning to hand over to the law. I have a better plan. One that will teach a lesson to all would-be traitors and to King George's revenue men who offer blood money. <laughs> Ramsley? <laughs> Ramsley? I ain't done nothing. Try me cash. I'll fight any two of you. What's wrong with you? You're my mates. I'm one of you, ain't I? No, Ransley. <laughs> Session. Uncover the second prisoner's eyes so that he can see the scarecrow's justice. You pack of scoundrels. In the king's name, I demand that you release me. Gag him.
file the indictment against the first prisoner. Joseph Ransley, you stand charged with treachery. How say you, guilty or not guilty? I ain't hurt you, nun scarecrow. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, Cashier. First witness, Curl you. All right, the undersigned witnessed the accused Ransley's conversation with the prosecutor for His Majesty's Department of Customs and Excise on the night of the 16th. What? During which conversation the said Ransley agreed to turn King's evidence against the rest of us assembled here. Church! Further, the accused agreed to hand over 20 names of men in our organization and to sell this list for gold to prosecute a flag. It's a lie. I ain't even spoken to him. Except in the court. That time the parson got me off. You're lying, Ransley. You were offered gold to betray your friends. No. This gold. <laughs> Taken from Prosecutor Fragg, who came to keep his bargain with you. Next witness, Hellspike. I, the undersigned, witnessed the second prisoner, Prosecutor Fragg, in the company of Mips, the sexton of Dimchurch, at the fork in the sea road. I followed the said Fragg across the marsh to the accused cottage. This, on the night of the 16th. Lies. It's all lies. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Stand down. And now my deposition, Ransley. On the last run of my gentlemen, you attempted to steal from us, were caught and put on trial. Didn't hurt you none, and I was acquitted. Through the intercession of a parson who disobeyed my instructions not to interfere, I'll deal with him later. You told the prosecutor at your trial that you would betray me if you could. In spite of the oath you made with me, the oath that every man here has taken. If a man thinks he's going to be hanged, and his son's with him, he'll say anything. What kind of man will sell his friends to the hangman for gold, Ransley? I ain't done that. I never intended to. No. Empty his pockets. Here are the names he would sell. Perhaps your names are among them. You were taking that note to the prisoner flag tonight? All right, Cashier. So I was. You think you own us all. You were going to kill me. You drove my sons away, and the army was after me. Cheat, liar, traitor, convicted by your own words. Gentlemen of the jury, how say you? Is the prisoner guilty or not guilty? Guilty! Guilty! guilty. guilty. Guilty it is. And this court sentences you to die accordingly. You dog, you're not fit to live. What are you going to do? No, no. Gag him, Hellspike. No, no, no. no, no. And spare us seeing him die a coward as well as a traitor. You, curl you, cover the lanterns. is done. So end all men who have betrayed the Scarecrow and the people of the marshes. Ah! Ah! Let him go. Tell you, give my gentlemen the king's gold, share it among you, and remember the Scarecrow's justice. Now go, quickly.
Let him down. <laughs> Laughter, Sexton. Have you no respect for the dead? said so end all traitors and the scarecrow's men still ride the marshes can nobody stop the villain they'll still try sir don't worry they'll still try look Archer! save some space in your graveyard parson for the scarecrow because I swear to you, he'll be there. And soon. Out! Uh, good luck to you, General and uh, Take care with that cold you have. Forward! Scarecrow! 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 The soldiers of the king feared his name. Him just the same. Scarecrow, scarecrow, scarecrow. On our next program, we'll bring you the third and final adventure of Dr. Sin, alias the Scarecrow. It's one of the most daring and dangerous exploits of them all. We'll be back in just a minute with a few scenes from this exciting story. Next week, an encounter with a figure from the past leads the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh on his most dangerous mission. If you're the deserter, we're here to help, not harm you. I'm Dr. Sin. Uh, Harry, this is Simon Bates, an American. He's hunted by the law, too. Mr. Banks? How did you do, Mr. Bates? Deserter? No, preaching sedition. Freedom for the colonies. Then you're taking a big risk. So are you, and you're wasting time. Come on, off we go. Halt in the king's name! There are some prisoners in the castle. They have asked for my help. I intend to release them. Release them, Scarecrow? You will be led by the vicar of Dimchurch, Dr. Sin. as the Scarecrow brings his fight for freedom to the King's general stronghold. Next week, 
in the conclusion of our story, The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh, on Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. some prisoners in the castle. They have asked for my help. I intend to release them. Release them, Scarecrow? You will be led by the vicar of Dimchurch, Dr. Sin. Yeah. Yeah. this. you trust me? All of you. Or will you stand forward now and say that you're afraid? Presents the wonderful world of color. This week, we bring you more adventures of the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. your host, Walt Disney. On this program, we bring you the third and concluded adventure of the most wanted man in England 200 years ago. He had two names, two identities. One of them, he was Dr. Sin, vicar of Dimchurch Parish. In the other, he was known only by his nickname, the Scarecrow. And under this alias, he led the greatest smuggling gang in the country. All around here, on the southeast coast of England, where he lived. They still talk about him in some of the old inns there today. And you can see rooms he hid or slept in, and the parish church where he preached his vicar. In those days, ordinary folk found life very, very hard. They were poor, and the laws of the land were harsh. So because this strange character, the scarecrow, robbed the government of revenue to help the poor, he became a hero and a legend, and all the forces of law and order that tried to stop him were outwitted so often that even the king himself intervened personally to try and put an end to the scarecrow. <laughs> There's a legend people tell Of days long ago when the great scarecrow Would ride from the jaws of hell And laugh <laughs> with a fiendish yell With his clothes all torn and tattered Through the black of night he'd ride From the marsh to the coast like a demon ghost He'd show his face and hide And he'd laugh <laughs> till he split his side so the king told all his soldiers, hang him high or hang him low. But never return till the day I learn he's gone in flames below. Or you'll hang with the great scarecrow. Scarecrow, scarecrow, scarecrow. The soldiers of the king feared his name. Scarecrow. Country folk all loved him just the same. Scarecrow, he would always help the farmer when there was no gold to bring. He'd find a way for the poor to pay the taxes of the king. Scarecrow, every man would sing. Scarecrow, 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 scarecrow. the soldiers of 
of the king did his day. Country folk all loved him just the same. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Scarecrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I sent for you. So you could explain to me this enormous loss in revenue. Your order's work will stamp out this smuggling, yet in the weeks you've been down there, it's grown worse. Well, sir? Well? The whole countryside protects the smugglers and their leader, Your Majesty. They see him as a benefactor. Protects, protects! My home secretary bombards me with figures of the drop in excise duties. I have to listen to sly jokes at my expense, at my army's expense. Cartoons appear in the public press, showing me dancing like a puppet on strings held by this fellow they call the Scarecrow. I send you extra troops, and what happens? Nothing, nothing. I'm making a fool of yourself, you make a fool of me. I'm doing my best, sir, but as I said... Your best is not good enough, General. You let this scoundrel slip through your fingers, didn't you? Well, sir? Well? I did everything in my... Silence! I should relieve you of your command, perhaps. Eh? Eh, sir? If you'll give me a little more time... Time, I... time! I have a war in France, rumors of insurrection in America, and I must give you time, more money, more men, to deal with a pack of smuggling yokels in my own country? You're incompetent lax, General. I'll stamp out this business, Your Majesty. I give you my word. Yeah. Just one month, sir. I'll give you one month. The War Office said that you were a hard man, General. Well, sir, be hard. You hear me, eh? Be hard. Now go back to your command and use your brains. There's a new spirit in the world, Nips. Taxed out of existence, robbed of their independence by the king's government, the people must fight back how they can. Well, men can't beat armies, sir. Ideas can. Faith can move mountains. What we're doing here is just a pinprick, but a thousand pinpricks put together will... Search. Doctor said, Mother Hathaway sent me, sir. There are troops out searching for me. Why? What have you done? You're an American, are you not? Yes, sir. I've been branded a traitor and sentenced to death for preaching sedition. You should know this because I ask for sanctuary. Sedition? That's what King George calls our wish for freedom and independence. Yes. I can't deny you sanctuary, Mr... Bates. Simon Bates, sir. Mr. Bates. But it would not be safe for either of us to hide you here. You'll give me up? No. Uh, Mips, take him to Mrs. Waggett's Inn. My sexton will know what to say to her. She'll hide you till the coast is clear. You say nothing. Any sign of him? No, Sergeant. Right. Let's wait for the elves. Oh, what? Oh, hang it all, Vicar. You'd think I might beat you once in a while. He's as clever as a fox. Do you play, General? No, I haven't got the patience for games. But you hunt the fox, though, don't you, sir? Well? General Pusa, squadron searching the marshes, cooperating with the naval pickets. I know, I know. All the press gang men who jumped ship at Dover have been recaptured, sir. Good. Except one. What? A man was seen heading for Dimchurch an hour ago, but we lost him. 
Permission to carry out house-to-house -house search, sir? Yes. Sir? Every house, you understand, and thoroughly. Spare no one. This is the chance I've been waiting for to turn this place inside out. I don't wonder a deserter would head this way. Why, General? Because your people here are lawless themselves. They shield this scarecrow and his smugglers, don't they? You've no proof of that. They do. And if I find one of them, any of them, hiding a deserter, there'll be some hanging here. Well, good night, Thomas. It's time I was getting home. Good night, you, Vicar. I'll see you okay. to the gate, sir. Hello. General? Find Mr. Bates, the American rebel you're hiding. We'll have to move him. Come on. If you're the deserter, we're here to help, not harm you. I'm Dr. Sim, vicar of Dimchurch. In the house. Well, father's there and. Well, I can't. There are soldiers there. I saw them through the window. Harry. You heard General Pugh. They hang deserters from the Navy. Harry's the man they're looking for. The marshes are now under military law, sir. I have my authority from the King. If you have any objection, complain to him, sir, not to me. Thank you for dinner and good night. Good night to you, sir. Madam, Mr. Brackenbury. General, won't you let Philip stay a little longer? Just as a favor to me, please. Very well. Speak to Father now. All right, Kate. Could I talk to you a moment, sir? Hmm? Have I your permission to, to ask for Kate's hand, sir? No, sir. You have not. I understand that your family regards you as independent and rebellious, and they've cut you off. Am I right? Well, yes, sir. It's true. My father and I... And that you live on your army pay. I might know that you're not more interested in Kate's fortune than her hand. As Kate's father, sir, you may consider it your privilege to question my honor, but I'm afraid I do not. Good night, Sir Thomas. Good night, Mr. Brackenbury. I'm leaving. There's nothing more to say after that. Isn't there something to say to me? Father fights everybody. He only respects those who fight him back. And so do I. Aren't you going to fight for me? Oh, Kate. You know, when we're in port, we're netted below decks like cattle. Fed and watered and penned and driven to the slaughter. We... What's this? Look at... Hello, Father. Harry. 
I got away by force. Four years of my life they've had. Want to see the decorations I got in the king's service? I'm no longer going to be treated like a dog. My dear boy. Come over to the house. You look starved. I am, sir. You can't go to the house, sir. Philip Brackenbury's still there. I must get you away. L leave this to me, Sir Thomas. Will yes, you? Well, how I'll you? ask no questions. If you know nothing, then you'll not have to lie when the Navy comes searching. I'll see you again, boy. As soon as I can. Well, don't worry, my sexton and I will deal with this. Uh, go with your father, John. Hundreds of years of pride and privilege. I wonder what they think of me now. Running away like a stray dog. Cover that lantern. Just in time. I got Mr. Bates here out of the inn five minutes before the soldiers came. Mr. Harry, I couldn't believe it when I heard it's good to see you, sir. Harry, this is Simon Bates from America. He's hunted by the law, too. Mr. Banks? How do you do, Mr. Bates? Deserter? No. Preaching sedition. Freedom for the colonies. Neps, tell them whether to go. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Mr. Bates, you remember Broken Barn in the Bonington Hills? Take Mr. Harry with you and hide there till I send word. Enter through the barn doors, and under the fourth beam, there's a trap door leading to an underground stable. An underground stable? That's right. You'll be perfectly safe there. We'll get food to you as you need it, but whatever you do, keep under cover. Mr. Mipps, Dr. Sin, you're taking a big risk. So are you, and you're wasting time. Come on, off you go. Soldiers and pickets everywhere, sir. How are you going to get the two of them out? By the, uh, the first ship that delivers for the scarecrow. You hope. Hope is brightest when it dawns from fears. Coming. Hulk! El 
king's name. What's this? We caught him and another one besides, sir. Call off the search. We have him. That, that's Mr. Harry, Sir Thomas's son. Who are you? All right. You'll find your tongue, I promise you. You've got to be sorry you were ever born, the pair of you. Take them both to Dover Castle. <laughs> in a cart, sir. Trust like chickens. To Dover, you say? Well, that means pew. And that's just what he wants. He'll know that Bates has been harboured here, and he'll do everything in his power to force him to say by whom. That puts Mrs. Waggett in danger, and yourself. But you in worse danger, sir. Yes, but it's my fault. And then there's Harry and his family. Now, if Brackenbury has discovered anything and reports it... Are you going to warn Sir Thomas? That Harry's been taken? No, he'll find out soon enough. Now, I think I'll go to Dover, see what I can learn. You'll either give me the information I want, here and now, or I'll hand you over to more forcible persuasion. I could have you hanged today, both of you. Apart from your stealing from me, you're already condemned, and you stand condemned a deserter. But turn King's evidence, I'll spare your lives. Who sheltered you all this time? This scarecrow who flouts the law down here? No. Then one of his men must have been. Answer me. No. And why did you head for these parts? Who did you think would hide you? This scarecrow, because he helped another scoundrel escape the King's service? Who are your friends here? Talk, and I'll exchange their lives for yours. Take them to the dungeons and see what answers you can get, by whatever means. Yes, sir. March! Church, sir. Dr. Sin. Well, what do you want here, Parson? Uh, my duty is general. I'm chaplain to the jail. I'm here to serve Holy Communion to the prisoners. I normally report to the garrison commander before I do so. And Master Banks? Uh, to assist me, sir. Well, it's not a duty I relish myself. This stench in the dungeon is strong enough to build another wall on. Our duties are not always made easy. For any of us. But the end justifies the means, eh? Even when those means include torture, General? Mr. Brackenbury is talking of those swine who just left. To be tortured? They hold the key to unlock the conspiracy of silence which protects this scarecrow madman, and I intend to get it. <laughs> 